How's it going guys? Welcome back. This is part two of how to make a poser hood. Um, clear this out. I've never done a poser hood. This is the first time I'm doing a poser hood. Figure while I go, I can record it. So, uh, where I left off is I did weld on the extension piece that we uh, cut out in part one. Um, we welded it out. Almost all set. Um, I gotta fix a couple things, a couple issues that I see now. Um, I gotta finish welding on the inside of the hood as well. Uh, so I'll show you that. And once we finish that, we're gonna start grinding down the welds and making it smoother. Um, and hopefully get to a point where we can start bondoing the hood. So, um, stay tuned, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how that works. All right, so before we get started um, on the next phase, um, I still need to continue welding here and, and making it structural. That way when you open the hood, it's not gonna rip right out. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to keep mine you know, nice and strong uh, and where I started welding. Um, hopefully it'll work and hopefully it, it'll be strong. Cause this, this so far, you know, it's, it's, it's holding up pretty strong. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I did and maybe you guys will do something different, maybe you guys won't. Uh, but here it goes. So I gotta go back with the grinder, however my grinder just fucked up, so I don't know what happened with that. I'm gonna pick up another one um, right now, actually, and so I could fin so I could grind up all these welds. Uh, today didn't really work out as planned. I wanted to get a lot more accomplished today. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I didn't have supplies and we had to get all this moving and all this crap. So, this is where I'm at. As you guys can see, um, I'm currently working under a car right now. Um, in the middle of the day today, my dad decided to pick up another car. So, we got on the car, and I'm like, you know what? I can't waste a Saturday because Monday through Friday I'm basically packed with work. So, I can only work on this on the weekends. And this is my situation. This. That happens to be the bottom of an X5. And this is my car. But the toughest thing that I'm, I'm realizing that, you know, I've been going through this whole time, this whole day, is the shape of the hood. You know, you constantly have to hammer the shape into place so it doesn't squeeze onto your bumper. And um, right now, it's not allowing me to close the hood completely. Uh, because this section is kind of preventing it. Uh, so I've been kind of hammering it away and as I hammer, some weld connections start getting loose. So it's just, yeah, I'm going back and forth with this. It's kind of tough, but, um, but I'm getting through it. All right, so I got my grinder. I'm gonna grind down these welds uh, to, so it's nice and smooth um, and hopefully get it nice and ready for Bondo. But, so we're gonna work on that now. I'm um, gonna see where I'm at if I need to weld again after I do some grinding, I'm gonna have to do that as well. So, um, I'm gonna get going on this. All right, so, this is looking, this is coming out really good, and I'm not gonna lie. It's coming out really good. Very, very smooth. Check this out. So, um, I'm really liking how the grinder is working out for me. So, um, I'm gonna keep hacking at this. It's gonna, this is definitely gonna take a lot longer than I would have imagined. Um, so keep that in mind if you guys are gonna do this hood. A lot longer. Um, the grinding 
it's gonna take me a while to, 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 to get it the way exactly I like it, you know? Um, but that's fine. Um, you know, that's definitely fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tackle this and put you guys on a time lapse. I noticed that once I started grinding down, you know, I started losing some weld connections and the structural parts of the of the weld. So I realized that I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have to weld again. I'm gonna have to uh, finish and make sure it's still structural as I grind down all the weld and connections and then make it smooth. Um, so I'm going back now and I'm gonna weld this again uh, to make sure it's still strong and. Um, it's not just flapping around here. And um, so that's where I'm at now. Hopefully, hopefully that'll solve it. You know, just weld and then grind down, weld, grind down uh, until it's nice and strong. I got the corners all set. The middle, though, the middle of the hood is giving me such a hassle. Um, you know, I, I hope it turns out. It's just a lot of corrections that I have to make. So this is where I'm at now. Um, you'll, be, you'll be able to see where you know I started having issues with and where I'm starting to have holes in the hood I'm hoping that this hole is not too big where I have to slap another piece of metal on it so <sighs> this thing man I'll tell you it's, it's a project it's, it's definitely a project so there's actually like a little lip like I don't I don't want to have to grind it down too too much where I lose all my weld connections and whatnot so I'm gonna weld this little lip and grind down that weld so it actually gets that little fill so it actually fills in a little bit um, and whatever I can't do I'm gonna just bond the rest of it I guess whatever, let's see so since the original hood already had like bondo in it to like to fill out some some edges, I was grinding everything down, and it's like it's just burning so easily. Actually, so you guys should see it flame up. So, at this point, I am unsatisfied with the way this front is coming out. This front piece, um, the bondo, the stock bondo that's on on the hood itself kind of calls for like a little mishap when I was grinding and everything and I, I just don't like the way it's layering and, and I don't want to have to add another one just to smooth it out like I think I think I'm just gonna cut this front this middle section out get another piece of steel and um, and just try again with the middle portion um, Again, I, I could I could try I could try to you know save this case and and you know try as best as I can welding on the piece and, and whatnot, but it's I feel like it's not worth my time. I feel like I could just cut this section out and and weld on another metal piece and, and call it a day, like knowing everything I know now. But um, that's where I'm at today. Um, I was hoping to have bondo done and start sanding the bondo at this point but I'm not it's, that's that's not the case so I'm probably just gonna cut this out get another piece of metal and weld that on so that was this week it was a fail <laughs>